Welcome to the lesson that will introduce CARP design. The first thing you're going to want to do is pick up the Google drawing called Fix Poster in Google Classroom if you haven't already. This poster has many errors in design. You need to apply what is known as CARP design. C stands for contrast, A stands for alignment, R stands for repetition, and P stands for proximity. Without going into further detail, this video will show you how to use various tools in Google Drawing. You will learn shortcuts as well. So for example, if you want to change the color of the border or remove the border, you would select the image, you would go to the line color, and you can change the color that way. You can change the thickness, and you can also get rid of it by choosing transparent. If you wanted to apply the same type of border and thickness on all of the images at the same time, you would select one image, hold the shift key of the keyboard, and select all the images at the same time. You would then go and change the color if you so choose, and then change the thickness at the same time. If you want to change the font inside of the box, you would select the font and you would then go up to the top and then choose a font. If you want to do it at the same time, you would hold the shift key and select all four boxes at the same time. You can change the color at the same time by choosing the text color and applying the change. But obviously you have black text on black background, so you would want to need to change that. You can change the font style at the same time. If you need to resize an image, you would select the image and drag from the corner towards the center to resize that image. If you want to change the background, you would right click in the background area, choose background, and then change the color that way. If you want to bold any of the titles, you would select the word and then click on the B or choose Control B. If you want to make the information more compact in the text box, you would just drag so that the text fits in that box. If you want to change the title, you would select the title. You would choose the paint bucket to change the color, and you can also change the font as well. You could drag it out to make it bigger if you so choose. These are just a few tips on how to use the tools in Google Drawings to make it meet the needs of CARP design. If you need to research CARP design, feel free to do so. I hope you enjoy redesigning this poster because it has so many violations when it comes to CARP design. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.